Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before meat. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you coming? You Arker shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You are shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The Alding will have started. I should find Sigurd. Deep in your belly. Thor himself could now drink me. me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crop. They buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. <laughs> I dream of something greater. 
A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. Too much blood. And too bad to lead a base. I am not your enemy, King Harald. This saddens me, noble Yor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband. I'm sad to. My king! Gorm Kurtveson. The re Back Hold, Eivor. This is a serious charge, Gorm. And a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist. You are Kurtveson's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? I would send him to hell, as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since my kingdom is whole. All here have buried friends. Let those... What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me! Not a word! Then war will continue. Me you will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow! Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stabian Yarl. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But we will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stabian's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death, but not at the cost of betraying my family. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on it. But let us leave... Harald's colors. He's already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harald may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. Words come closer. Blood for Odin. I will fight dirt. doing if you wish to have words come closer 
Are you one of Harald's men? I am. Let me ask. No. Well... I don't like the way those soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one will marry you and... What do you see, Sunan? Eivor! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. We will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back! The wars will never end! Two days ago, we rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a... But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy... Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that my anger burns hotter than any man's here. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward to England. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any luck? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England... I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I'll... A saga for... It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. No. That belongs to my father. As a fair... You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Shut this riches would go some way to easing our passage. Our leaving must not be an assault on... If we go, we will need all the help we can get. I say we take Shotvei's spoils for our own. I abhor such theft. But if this is... Styrbjorn will prosper by the generosity of his new king. Shotvei's goods belong to us. To England, then, before the day is out. Pa and tighten your lips. How much did you hear? Enough. A new pa... Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. Cast about this land, my friend. and move on, you moonlight magpie. Leaving... Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick the dream and... As it... Having doubts? No, not at all. Then let fate guide our... Ju I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave on... That chance has passed. Look. Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son. My choice is made, father. Do not hope... Oh, there's nothing for me here. I'm... And you have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. You leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left 
the son of a Jarl. There are always choices, Sigurd. I will not stand between you and yours. <sighs> Seven, I should have left you. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. of wool put some muscle into those pools ration your strength dog we have an ocean to cross all right you lazy back routes sigurd what's our course the songs of ragnar yeah. established the settlement near the coast we set sail for that Ragi, sing a song to lift our hood to rouse the gods inspire a mighty fort from Thor to speed us on our way an ocean lies before us, Eivor, and on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Ravenclaw and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England, glory and destiny. To England, to England, for Valhalla. University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electro- Oh, new and improved. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Walk into town, then use this. Did you get my tea? Oof, mint tea. I don't care what you call it. Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? 
felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. We have the transcript if you're looking for... No. Going... Okay. I don't mean to be... Cr that message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I unsettling. That pulse in the message. Nothing I... Okay. Here we go. I'm glad to see any land at all, and will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory, the Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Rambi, take in your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Say on. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not. For they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them. Get the lay of the land. And carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them. Like our sacrifices to Odin the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Dad. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all! I simply forgot. Someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always. They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Oh, 
Come to stop the boat. Let's get over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Go, my eyes. This area is off limits. This chain is huge, and poorly anchored it appears. I might be able to shoot it.
path is clear. a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. God, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and the ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ravnason are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> Have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. Man of symbol pleasures, aren't you, Dak? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory, and now they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire brick by brick, and ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. Ruins are not a warning, they are a testament. Look there, just ahead, where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find? No. Let us get a closer look. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they stop the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a guard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! On me! <laughs> oh, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways. You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten Norse men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Let's finish them! Kill these heathen bastards! You have what you wished for, Dad.
Surprises. Right. I will check the longhouse. Not breathing. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. You there, untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant. No Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I read their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the Sons of Ragnar, at Halstan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the so I. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Repeat my stocks. Start a new... Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to... My thoughts as well. Any friend... Whatever you think is best... Yan Li, Rowan, both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to. Then let it be done. The raven... From strangers into friends... The others have arrived. I have a good feeling about this place. Oh. Honored family, friends. Welcome to your new home. 